Hey guys, welcome back. If you're part of my experts group, you see this background all the time. We chat live every single Wednesday, so you're used to seeing my office, but what you don't see is my little hidden secret that I have in the corner. Filming a television show and doing YouTube comes with a lot of electronic devices, cameras and things that require batteries. Most of the stuff, I'm not exactly sure what it does, but I need all of it. And usually it ends up in a huge pile here on the floor. So today I'm creating a home for all of my cord clutter. I'm a ladybug and Joe is a cricket, which means we like to hide our crap. So this, this drawer is the perfect spot for us to put a charging station. All of the batteries, all of the cords and cables, it's gonna be hidden out of sight. And I'm gonna show you how you can turn a drawer into a charging station right now. Joe cut a piece of wood to fit perfectly inside the drawer so we can make it out here. And I'm just covering it with Dollar Tree contact paper. This is not necessary. You can do this right in a drawer. This is really just so it looks pretty. This step's kind of just for you guys. Let's totally be honest. Also, side note, putting on contact paper straight is hard. Now we're gonna lay everything out so that we can get an idea where everything goes. And when we have sort of come up with an idea that it's easy to access all the batteries, we're gonna use Velcro and double-sided tape to hold everything in place so it doesn't slide around in the drawer, but it's still easily removable. This is like getting detailed. So I let Joe take over wrapping up the cords. I don't wrap cords. Joe is a micro organizer, he can get detailed. He's also going to drill two big holes in the back of this. We wanted to make sure that the, the extension cord that we're gonna plug in can easily slide. So he drilled two holes and then used his jigsaw to cut actually like a slit in the back of this so that the cable can easily slide and won't get stuck as the drawer opens and closes. We put it in, we pulled the cord through, plugged it in. You guys, voila! Everything's charging inside a drawer and it's neat and tidy. If turning a drawer into a charging station seems like way too much work, I totally understand it, I got you. I'm gonna show you an alternative. I have this box from Michaels with a hinge lid. I love these boxes and I'm gonna show you how to turn it into a charging station. It's full of cords though. This is my, I'm such a macro, it's organized, it's organized, but no, I'm gonna dump it out and I'm gonna make it a charging station right now. Why does this charging station have a picture of me kissing a dolphin? We don't know, we don't know, we're moving on. This box is from Michaels, it's made of cardboard, I love it. I tried to drill holes in the back, but the drill, the drill's out of batteries. Stabby McStabster's using some scissors to make holes instead and then feeding the cables through. This is where I'm gonna charge my Fitbit and my phone and tablet by my bed because let's be honest, that's where I use all of these things the most. The after looks so good. I'm loving this. It's hidden, it's fast and easy, and it's a really perfect way to create a charging station. If even turning a box into a charging station seems like a little too much work, I got you. We have a charging station in our kitchen from Amazon. I love this thing. We've had it for four years. It's incredible. It charges all of our tablets, all of our phones right here in the kitchen. It's perfect for visual organizers. But even as a ladybug, I don't, I don't hate it, you guys. I don't hate it. It's a spot for all of the stuff to go. It contains the cord clutter. It's totally a must have if you have a lot of devices that need to be charged. If you're wondering where that big tangled mess of cords that was in my box went, I macro organized it, which means chucked it into another basket, labeled it cords and cables, and I'm organized. Organization. Organization. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. I'm going to share a little bit about my childhood with you. It may open your eyes to the fact that your kids are amazing angels. I was... I, I need, I still, I still have ADHD. I need a lot of stimulation and attention. I love to do things that I find hilarious. Other people may not find them funny, but I'm just like, I want to be entertained 24 seven, whether I'm having a conversation with a stranger or I'm going for a walk. I need something else, man. I can't just, just do one thing. And so as a kid, my poor parents, I would always, is it a joke? I felt like it was a practical joke, but they would take me shopping and I would play, your child has been abducted, which meant I would run away from them and hide. 
and then, <laughs> you know, hide in clothes or hide around corners. It didn't matter if we were at Disneyland, but usually this happened at like Zellers. You remember old school Zellers? My mom would go there all the time and I would run away and hide in a clothing rack and she would have me paged, you know, paging Cassandra, you little, to the, to the customer service desk over and over again. I don't know why she didn't put a backpack on me with a leash, you know, train me somehow to not do that. But anyways, um, I did this all the time. And I also played this game where uh, the public restrooms were broken and I was inside and I'd be like, I can't get the door open, it's stuck. And then, you know, why would I, I don't know. But one time I was at McDonald's with my Annie Mae and I played this game that the door was stuck and she had never taken me, she didn't know. She didn't know all my prankster ways. And she sent a little girl, not a little girl, a teenager on her hands and knees, crawling under the stall to save me through the side. And just as that poor girl slithering across to McDonald's public bathroom floor was about to rescue me, I burst out of the door. Just kidding! <laughs> Pants still around my ankle, thinking I'm hilarious. My aunt dragged me through McDonald's with my pants around my ankles, whooping my butt the whole time. I didn't play that prank on parents after that, but I had to share this with you. I think ADHD, man, it's a thing. If you are raising a child with ADHD, you are an amazing parent. So I thought I'd share that with me, with you. Anyways, thanks so much. I'll see you guys next time.